Hello and welcome to this next segment from AMS 360. In the title description of this video, you'll find the direct link to our contact page. We welcome your questions, comments, and requests for further content. Thank you for tuning in. Hi everyone. Welcome to another segment of Zero to 360. One of PowerMill's greatest features is the ability to automate your workflow. And in a previous video, I went through the steps on how to create a macro, then add that macro to your own custom ribbon. In this video, I would like to show you how you can utilize keyboard shortcuts to quickly execute these macros. Okay, let's get started. To create a keyboard shortcut, you want to go under the File, Options, and then select Customize Keyboard Shortcuts. As you can see, we have the options for Macros, Commands, Toolbars, and Ribbon. All of these can have keyboard shortcuts assigned to them. For our first example, Let's use a macro. I'm just going to select this tab right here, add macro shortcut, and now I'm going to look for my macro that I want to use. Select my macro. Now that my macro is selected, now I can assign a shortcut key. Let's go Control Z. If this Control Z was already being used, it would show underneath current assignment right here. It's not, so let's assign it. To continue on, let's use another macro. Let's find this macro. And let's give it a keyboard shortcut. Control Q. It's not being used currently, so let's assign this one as well. Now for our last one, instead of using a macro, we're going to use a command. I'm going to, right here, add command shortcut. Now I'm just going to type in my command that I want to use. As soon as I've typed in my command, let's give it a, a shortcut. It's not being used, so let's assign it. Now that we've assigned our shortcut keys that we want to use, let's try them out. Control Q, there's my work plane. Control A, my block is created. Control Z. My tool template has been imported. So just with three keyboard shortcuts, I've created a work plane, created a block, and imported my tool template. Now I'm ready to start programming. I hope these tips help you increase productivity and maximize your workflow in Powerball. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please click the subscribe button or follow our social channels to stay connected. You can also use the direct link to our contact page in this title description.